Hello and welcome to the C++ and Science YouTube channel, where I will teach you various topics around C++. I'm your host, Andreas Fertig, a trainer and consultant for C++. I'm available for in-house, on-site or remote training. Today I like to talk about something that's often coming up during my training classes, especially if it's from people coming from C to C++. And the question is, what is the difference of a pointer to a reference. And a lot of trainers, including me, usually use the analogy to say a reference is like a pointer. Well, one difference is a reference cannot be a null pointer. That's, I would say, a fair and okay analogy, but it's not the full truth. The truth is references are no pointers. They are different. So one example is for a reference variable, the compiler does not need to allocate storage space. And this is one advantage over pointers. I have a piece of code here that should illustrate my point. I have this variable i here, an integer, with the value 8. And now I have a pointer, Peter, which stores the address of i here. And I have a reference, Ronald, which also um, stores now a reference. To i. If I print the values out here, i, that should be no surprise, i is 8. If I now print out the address of i, you can see it's some value on the stack. It looks different when you execute it. If I look at the pointer, print out Peter, then we can see Peter, of course, points to the address of i. So they are the same. If I dereference my pointer here, well, no surprise, it's 8 because, well, the pointer is pointing to i and i stored 8. If I now output the address of the pointer, so not a thing where the pointer is pointing to, but the address of that thing, we can see, well, it's some address on the stack, but it's a different one than the address of my variable i. If I do the same thing for references, if I print out my reference, well, no surprise, value is 8. If I print out the address of my reference, then we can see that one is the same as the one of the variable i and the thing the pointer is pointing to. I cannot dereference a reference, so that's not an option here, that's why it's not shown. But I hope this illustrates my point. From a standards perspective, a reference is just an alias, another name for the object it refers to. And this is different to a pointer. And that's one reason why a reference cannot be changed as opposed to a pointer. So this all is true for variables being references. Once we deal with parameters or reference members inside classes, Things change, obviously, and we are looking more at the way how pointers do things. So then we need storage space and all that. But for this kind of example here, you save yourself a bit of stack space by using references instead of pointers. I hope this helps you to understand the difference between references and pointers a bit better. And it helps understanding if I'm saying references are no pointers, that you now can agree, at least in this case. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.